instead of leaving me alone, <laughs> he um, pulled my hairpiece off my head. Where I thought, this is it. This is how I'm going to die. So that was my near-death experience. Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time then welcome and thank you for clicking on this video. If you're wondering why my makeup is the same as the last video it's because I filmed both these videos in the same day um, but by the time you see this video it should be the 26th of January which means it's six months of being on YouTube and I wanted to celebrate by doing a get to know me tag um, because I think it's time that you guys got to know me a bit better. And if you are a regular viewer and you've already subscribed then thank you so much it means a lot to have your continued support if you do like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up um, like comment share and of course subscribe first question when and where were you born so I was born on the 11th of December in Kingston Jamaica Two. Uh, the reason I joined YouTube I joined YouTube because I was always watching my favorite youtubers and I simply thought it was my time to you know start it myself and I'm honestly enjoying it so so much. What's your biggest passion? So my biggest passion is travel um, and I've got a blog um, I don't I haven't updated it recently but I have got a blog that I've put a lot of travel stuff on there so far so check that out um, but yeah my biggest passion is travel. Where do you see yourself and your YouTube channel in five years time? Um, hopefully a lot more growth um, of course in my subscribers, my views and also a lot of personal growth in myself. Yeah, just a lot of growth really. Question five, how have you changed in the last two years? So um, in the last two years I would say that I have gotten a lot more uh, confident um, in regards to some things in my life. Um, I'm gonna do a video on that separately but yeah I think I have gotten a lot more confidence in the last two years and I hope that my confidence continues to grow like this is a big thing for me putting myself on YouTube I mean of course I'm on Instagram and all those, those other social media sites but I think YouTube is a bit different but um yeah I'm, I think I've gotten a lot more confident in the last two years question six when are you at your happiest so I am happiest when I'm traveling with my partner because I love traveling as you already know and also I've put two things <laughs> so my other one is whenever I'm driving I have a little sing song and this leads on to the next question so what's a song you secretly love to blast and belt out when you are alone so that is plan b charmaine um if only you guys could see what i'm like when i'm singing that song i know all the words and i can do the accent oh gosh i love that song like i love singing to that song um, if you don't know it type it in plan b charmaine last thing that made you cry number eight um, so the routine of life is the last thing that made me cry. Um, I just hate, oh, hate is a really strong word. I just um, dislike the routine of life um, that you live to work, basically. I just I just hate that, that routine that we basically live to work. I want to get to a point in my life where I uh, work to live rather than living to work. Yeah. Three things you can't leave the house without. Number nine. And so Vaseline, moisturized lips, always a good thing. Uh, earrings, I love my earrings. I don't like how I look without my earrings on. And a mirror because I get a bit paranoid about what my face looks like if I haven't seen it in a while. <laughs> um, that sounds really vain, doesn't it? But it's, it's not vain, it's just, you know sometimes as well, you might have something in your teeth and people don't tell you people do not tell you you've got something in your teeth so if you've got a mirror there you can just check it if you you know if you've, if you've had something to eat and you want to just give it a quick check before you speak to someone else then you've got that mirror there but yeah because some people just don't tell you if you've got something in your teeth and that makes me really annoyed because I like I tell people I say I say I, I tell people if they've got something on their face but people don't seem to tell me when I've got something on my face or in my teeth so um, that's what my mirror is there for number 10 cats or dogs cats last year my partner's sister had um some kittens and um i just fell in love with them um so yeah definitely cats tea or coffee i am a tea person um when i do have the time to drink it um i go for lemon and ginger tea mm -mm -mm. <laughs> what's your biggest accomplishment uh graduating uh not just getting the degree 
part of things but realizing just how uh strong mentally strong i was and how resilient i was because that course tested me it tested me a lot um there were points in that course where anyone else would have quit um but i didn't and um yeah that's my most biggest accomplishment is getting to the finishing line if you could tell your younger self anything what would it be so if i could tell my younger self anything it would be to not worry so much about my insecurity um because my insecurity um held me back a lot um i'm gonna do a separate video on that soon i don't know when but i will because i think it would help other people as well um but yeah that my insecurity um held me back and i would just tell my younger self not to worry and to wear what you want to wear because it'll get better question 14 what are you most grateful for at the moment at the moment i am most grateful for i put this like one in <laughs> okay okay see my mirror <laughs> i need my mirror right so <laughs> what am i most grateful for um i'm most grateful for my partner and his support and i'm also grateful for the people that continue to watch my videos like yourself um yeah it just means a lot to me to have your support people who spend their time watching me like that's crazy but yeah thank you so much and I'm really really grateful for it if it's not already very obvious um sorry I've got a really bad cold <laughs> next question uh, what scares you the most so this is a bit morbid um, but what scares me the most is not knowing when and how I'm gonna die um, I think it's something that I'd like to know am I weird I just I would just like to know if I'm gonna die like when and where like I know you should just live every, every day as if it's your last um, but yeah it would just be nice to know when my time is gonna come so that's a bit morbid but yeah that's what scares me the most not knowing when and how I'm gonna die so next one if you could go anywhere in the world right now where would it be and why so that would be Bali because it looks amazing there hopefully one day that will happen one day heels or flats I am definitely a flats girl um walking in heels i literally look like bambi so um yeah definitely um a flats girl have you ever had a near-death experience yes uh, i think i was around 15 years old um, myself and my cousin went to thor park and there was a stand-up roller coaster but they gave you like a little seat for you to sit on um but i was messing around on it and it was i was i was jumping up and down on it kind of thing and it kind of locked into place when the, when, the, when the ride was ready to go and my feet were not touching the little platform bit that they give you to stand on for support and so my yeah I was basically not on the, I was not standing up properly and I just had the harness over me and there were times during the ride where I thought this is it this is how I'm going to die so that was my near-death experience any tattoos or piercings uh, piercings the ones you can see my ears I've only got those two and tattoos I really want some tattoos but I haven't found a good tattoo artist as yet I only want a couple small ones nothing big but um, yeah maybe one day you'll see them if and when I get them done <laughs> what's an embarrassing moment that stands out so in school I used to so I think it was around year eight so I was around 13 years old yeah and I was in science class I used to wear my hair up like gelled up and I had like a little hair piece on top of my head and um, a guy obviously realized that wasn't my real hair and instead of leaving me alone <laughs> he um, pulled my hair piece off my head and I just started crying about it and I think I called my mom and cried to her about it um, that was really traumatic at the time but, at the <laughs> but I find it really funny now it happened in class everyone's seen it because I think I was at the front of the class as well so everyone behind me seen it so um yeah <laughs> that's the most embarrassing moment I can share with you guys number 21 what makes you emotional the most so what makes me emotional the most is my Portugal lookbooks on here when I watch them back I get a little bit emotional because the girl in that video 
I didn't think she existed. Uh, the confidence that she possessed, that I possessed in those videos, um, I didn't think I'd ever get to that point in life where I felt comfortable enough wearing what I wore in those videos. I mean, yeah, I will share my story with you guys one day, but um, yeah, it makes me emotional when I watch those videos back. I'm very, very proud of the girl in those videos. What sports have you played? I used to play netball in school. I, I was pretty good, I think. <laughs> I, I scored quite a few times. Um, and I also used to be a really good runner as well. Um, I wish I kept up with those things because maybe I would still be a bit, you know, slim. Favourite book? Ugly by Constance Briscoe. If you have never read it before, um, I'll put a little picture of it here so you can see what it looks like. But yeah, Constance Briscoe's uh, book Ugly and the other book as well, Beyond Ugly. Those two, my favourite books, it's amazing. She just goes through a lot um, in her childhood and she overcame it and, and did something amazing with her life. Um, so yeah, just prove that whatever you went, whatever you go through in life you can always get through it kind of thing so it's an amazing book so if you like autobiographies then definitely read that book uh, favorite movie genre uh, comedy I love to have a good laugh when it comes to watching films yeah comedy favorite color purple I'm a little bit obsessed with purple my bedroom this isn't my bedroom um, but my bedroom has a lot of purple in it I won't, I won't say anything else because it's a bit embarrassing but yeah I do love purple a bit too much as you could probably tell I mean, okay, I love purple favorite memory I would have to say is um, my 24th birthday when myself and my partner went to Lanzarote I will uh, link the blog post um, about that if you want to have a read of my time in Lanzarote I've got loads of pictures on there as well so check them out but yeah Lanzarote was an amazing amazing holiday that I will never forget and I wish I could relive it and I wish at the time I kind of savoured the moment a bit more and lived in the moment a bit more because it was an amazing holiday and I had an amazing 24th birthday so those are my 26 questions um, for the 26th of July, my six month anniversary. I really hope you enjoyed this video guys. If you did, please don't forget to comment, like, share and subscribe. Um, as you know, I recently hit 300 and I am so, 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 so grateful to everyone that takes the time to watch my videos. And I really hope you feel like you know me a little bit better now. Um, it feels amazing to um, share some of those moments with you guys and I hope to share a lot more. I want to be really authentic and my, uh, my true self on this channel so yeah you're gonna see a lot more of that um, this year. Also I will hopefully be doing that video about my biggest insecurity. Um, it's a bit of a hard one to talk about but I really do want to share that with you guys because I think it could help someone else. But yeah enough jibber jabbering. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.